but on the other hand, not to be to be fair and to be honest, we've seen cases uh, in which there was flagrant abuse of the system. There was clearly uh, no reason for. Um, for procedures. Uh, we've had uh, situations in which uh, uh, one of the things we do here at the university is that we provide service to the to the Lexington VA Medical Center. So we provide the cardiology service for the VA and so when patients come to the VA requiring cardiology help, uh, the, the, that help is provided by the, the faculty of the university um, and, and I'm one of the people who, uh, uh, who are very proud and very uh, uh, happy to be part of the VA system. Uh, and, and so one of the things uh, uh, that happened uh, um, a couple of years ago is that we get a patient referred to the VA, one of the veterans, saying that he was referred by an outside uh, uh, cardiologist um, saying that he needs uh, bypass surgery and that he wants to have it done within the VA system because of uh, his VA uh, coverage. Uh, and so uh, what I said at the time, well, oh, oh, sure, let me evaluate you and uh, let me look at the films and the angiograms and the tests that were done so that uh, before I refer you to our surgeon, I want to be sure that you know that's the right thing to do, and uh, so we do get obtain these films from the outside hospital and the records, and we look at the angiograms, and we see. Uh, absolutely no reason for bypass surgery. Very minimal disease, very mild blockages. Uh, uh, the patient's symptoms were very atypical. He, it, it very well could have been uh, uh, not related to his heart at all. So when I tell the patient that um, he doesn't need bypass surgery, the patient gets uh, quite confused. Understandably, one uh, doctor tells him he needs to have a major operation. The other doctor tells him he doesn't need anything at all. That doesn't make sense to the patient. And qu obviously, that patient was confused for a good reason. We offer the patient that we repeat the tests and uh, uh, and do additional testing to try to sw confirm our opinion and try to show that what we are telling him is based on fact and numbers and measurements, not just on uh, uh, expert opinion, uh, and, and hoping that this would convince the patient and reassure the patient. And sure enough, we go back to the cath lab, we take more pictures, and we do some extra tests that would uh, uh, delineate or, or clarify the significance of the, uh, the blockages, w which were very mild to begin with. But then again, we confirm to the patient by various measurements that there is absolutely no need need for bypass surgery. Had this patient not been a veteran, had this patient not been referred to the VA, had this patient been w uh, taken care of by the outside physician, uh, he, he would have had bypass surgery by now.